Um, this next act is not only funny, but th there are parts of her set that are beautiful. And I mean that. She's absolutely fantastic. I think you're really going to enjoy this. This is the wonderful comedy of Izzy Sooty. Enjoy. Hello. Hello. Um, just to kick off with, can you give me a cheer on three if you're English? One, two, three. Excellent. Um, I witnessed what I think is the most English thing I've ever seen in a clothes shop in North London the other day. There was a guy of about 80 having an argument with the shop assistant about a jumper he'd bought from there that had a hole in it. And he ended the argument by going, Your level of customer service is appalling, and I hope this building burns to the ground. <laughs> Good day! <laughs> How innately English do you have to be to finish what is basically a death wish <laughs> with the word good day? It's brilliant. It's like stabbing someone and simultaneously feeding them a Mr. Kipling pie. <laughs> but conversely, I was out later that night in a bar and my mate grabbed my face as only a mate can after 10 tequilas and went, you're so fucking beautiful. <laughs> and at the same time, this English guy walked past and looked at me for about three seconds, then went, no. <laughs> A dick. Um, now, I'm from Matlock in Derbyshire, which is a very beautiful little village, and I've lived in London for about 10 years, but my mum still writes to me every week. And when we were kids and our teeth used to fall out, my mum would take the tooth from under our pillow, and in exchange, she would leave a letter from the tooth fairies and 20p. Except she wrote all the letters in fairy writing with her left hand. So, till I was about six, I just thought that all fairies had Parkinson's. <laughs> Uh, but here's a letter she wrote me the other day, and this will give you an idea of the kind of crazy shit that goes on in my hometown. Dear Izzy, a brochure arrived today explaining lots of things about the council tax. One of the things explained is that if you are in prison, you don't have to pay the council tax. <laughs> However, if you are in prison for non-payment of council tax, <laughs> you do have to pay. <laughs> So that's useful to know. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this continues. I passed Eileen Richardson on Stony Way today. She was walking briskly downhill and I was walking not quite so briskly up. <laughs> it's very cold today, isn't it? I called to her. Yes, she said. I've had to put my great big coat on. I know, I said. It's ridiculous, meaning the weather for June. But then, as she strode off, I realised she might have thought that I meant her coat. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> What's gonna happen? <laughs> oh, I didn't mean your coat, I shouted after her. What? <laughs> I didn't mean your coat, I said. Oh, I know you didn't, she said. That was that settled. <laughs> But already, I was exhausted from this exchange and hoped I didn't meet anyone else that I know. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, so, this is a song set in another, in another village and it is inspired by a newspaper that I can't name, but it rhymes with the Schmaley Schmael. <laughs> I live in a village, a very small village. Every pub sells mild, every house sells eggs. I live in a village, a very small village. It's got a Café Rouge and a Pizza Express. <laughs> it's basically a small village on the Norfolk Suffolk border. We have a small fete every year. Everybody eats cakes and is full of cheer. The Reverend Green always wins the cake contest. That's because his cakes are the best. <laughs> That's the kind of joke we like in the village. We don't like racist jokes. I'm not racist. I once owned a black cat. <laughs> One day a stranger came to town. Everybody looked around. Surely it must be a relative of somebody's. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. In our four by fours, we followed him home. He had a copy of the mirror and a garden gnome. A garden gnome is like a very small pet, smaller than a child with a growth defect. There's only one thing that this could mean. He's a piddly little little a piddly little little a piddly little little 
they mostly dwell in the Isle of Wight. A piddly little little fowl, a piddly little 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 fowl, a piddly little 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 fowl. The only butterscotch angel delight. Pido, pido, diddle, 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 pido, pido, diddle, 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 Just to be sure we doused him in petrol and set him alight. Thank you. I'd like to end on a song. Um, this is a song set in Sainsbury's. If you haven't been to Sainsbury's, don't worry, you'll still understand the song. I love going food shopping because it's an excuse to buy Take a Break magazine, which I just fucking love. <laughs> and I always know I should buy a newspaper, but my logic is, why do I want to read about football and famine when I can read about a lovely lady having sex with a ghost? <laughs> The boy who stacks the pursel and radion caught me unawares in the washing powder sec. Sean, he said, Would you like to dance? I said, No. <laughs> We're in a shop. <laughs> he said, Yeah. And this is my aisle, and I shall do as I please, and it pleases me to dance. Would you like to dance? I said, we might knock some of the washing powder over. He said, I've stacked the boxes in such a way that any impact will send one, maybe two, astray. Come on, love, let your ear down. It's Thursday. Dance, will you dance? Will you dance? I could see the supervisor wobbling towards us like an upside down wedding cake ready to floor us. The bride and the groom are stumpy legs and a fat piece of sponge for a fat piece of head. I said, I've never done anything naughty in my life. I mean, I stole a car once. But when I say car, I mean apple. <laughs> and when I say stole, I mean bought. <laughs> he said, I've done loads of naughty things, love. Even my imaginary friends think I'm a twat. <laughs> Just one bloody dance. He'd stacked the boxes in such a way that a lot of impact sent a lot of boxes astray but by then I did not give a fuck oh no I danced and 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 I danced we danced and we danced and we danced and we danced we danced and we danced and we danced and I got a lifetime subscription to take a break free of charge. <laughs> um, thank you, you've been so lovely. Good night. <laughs>